I grew up as a bit of a loner, really, with quite a vivid imagination. I would get involved in fights. I was always running away from home. I was placed in care in children's homes. I then got to meet um, some guys who were doing Thai boxing. And that's when I became interested in particularly the start of martial arts. The sport they were doing was very similar almost to street fighting, which was more my cup of tea at the time. My dream would have been a pro fighter in Thailand and, and around the world, so to speak. I would have loved to have done something like that. As a young man it's in my 20s, I was involved in an industrial accident where I actually uh, damaged my spine, damaged my back. And that's when I knew my dream was shattered with, with the martial arts. But I was probably at the peak of my fitness that I could ever be in my life. Um, and then all of a sudden my legs are literally swept from under us. I used to go and see a, a, an 80 year old gentleman. What was your run again? He knew exactly just by watching me walk in and up the stairs where, where to actually go. And this man just had amazing magic hands. He knew every lever, every part of the body. I just decided uh, I want to learn that. I want to. I want to learn that, and I want to share that with the world. It's kind of like a blind person reading Braille. Eventually, you get a sensitivity to your hands, and you can read tissue. The old macho stereotype. For, uh, would be, you know, just the, it would be wrong for a man to rub oil on another man, basically. But I, I don't, personally, there's no problem with that for me. Jab, cross, cross, then your baby, in, out, big jump. Put some power on. Just build the power, build the speed up. As but it also is a, a good way to get me around and involved in the martial arts scene. Thumbs started off as an affectionate term from the lads. Some of the guys just said I had thumbs of fury. At last I found something I'm actually good at in my life, you know. 